This is update number three for me on Tropical Storm Barry. Currently, as of the 4 p.m., it's National Hurricane Center Advisory. It is located at 28.7 degrees north, 90.9 .9 degrees west, moving west northwest at 6 miles per hour with a minimum pressure of 983 millibars and a maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour. And you can see here on the loop that it's been getting gradually more defined with time. It uh, looks better than it did yesterday a little bit. Um, you can see the midst of vortices kind of circling around the common center there um, as it gets even closer towards Louisiana. Um, looks like the likely landfall point at this time uh, is pretty much nearly certain at this time would be uh, Louisiana. Um, not to say that it wouldn't make landfall at all in uh, in southeast Texas. It's just a really, really low chance um, at this point in time. It's not really even worth uh, mentioning. Um, but here you see the coastline of Louisiana. They've already gotten some major um, flooding from this. Well, not major flooding, but a moderate amount, moderate flooding uh, from this storm, and also some storm surge as well. Um, and they're expected to get even more rainfall on top of what they already had. So that's not going to make make it any better for um, people who are living along the coastline or people who are inland that are dealing with the flooding currently right now. Um, but you can see the wide out here of what Barry currently looks like. I'm actually getting some outer bands of Barry right over here. I live in Corpus and I'm getting some outer bands from it at this point. But um, going on to uh, Barry itself, this is the 4 p.m. National Hurricane Center advisory cone, three day advisory cone for the system. You can see hurricane warnings in effect for Louisiana. There's also tropical storm warnings in effect for Louisiana. Um, there's even a tropical storm watch in effect for Mississippi. And also, um, tropical or hurricane watches in effect for uh, western and eastern uh, portions of Louisiana here. And you can see the wind field. This is the wind field of 39 mile an hour winds or greater associated with Barry. As of the 4 p.m. National Hurricane Center Advisory. And you can see it's pretty wide. It's over um, some of uh, Louisiana right now, southern Louisiana. Um, but the storm's going to slowly make its way northwest here with time and likely make a landfall. Uh, during the early early morning hours uh, tomorrow so early early tomorrow morning maybe anywhere from like 1 in the morning to maybe 6 or 7 in the morning um, central standard time but uh, it remains to be seen because the storm has been uh, moving a little bit slower than we expected it to so it could um, the, the the forecast for that could uh, increase it could it could make landfall sooner or it could make landfall a lot later than that we'll just have to see um, but uh, for now, it looks like a landfall in Louisiana is pretty much almost a given certainty at this point in time. Um, unless the storm pulls off something uh, drastically over the next uh, 24 hours or so. See if temperatures right now currently are not an issue at all. They're about 30 degrees Celsius plus um, in some areas. And what Barry is at, 30 degrees Celsius waters. Plenty of enough to sustain um, the storm for the time being. Um, winds here at this point in time is... Um, not really too much of an issue. All this red you see here is pretty much just from the outflow and the um, influence of the storm itself. Not really the storm getting steered by anything else. Because you can see with the arrows there, they're moving away. They're moving towards towards that area. Um, so it's associated mainly with the storm. It's not just here uh, going over and uh, destroying the storm itself. Um, and you can see with the tracks here. Uh, you can see what I mean. Pretty much all the mo all the models take it uh, towards uh, western Louisiana as a landfall here. Um, you can see there. So Louisiana um, definitely going to get the brunt of the impacts uh, from this storm. Recon is also in the storm currently at this point in time. They've been finding well earlier in the earlier flight, not this flight that I'm showing here, but early in another flight they found a hurricane force winds. Uh, 10 second hurricane force winds, but those are 10 second measurements. This is not one minute measurements, so it's more likely around 70 or 65 mile hour winds, uh, one minute sustained or so that they found. But again, a lot of the readings that they took when they recorded those 10 second hurricane force uh, winds were um, suspect, which means that they're either contaminated or there um, there was an error in the data somewhere, so they could have been incorrect readings. So just wanted to note that. It looks like I'm seeing another barb there. Uh, flight level winds of about 64 knots or so, uh, so that's also an interesting development there. Um, but uh, make sure 
you are uh, looking at the National Hurricane Center for official uh, government updates on the system. Just go on that link right there, www.nhc.noaa.gov for official information. I'm not a certified meteorologist by any means. I'm just a hobbyist here, uh, just doing a little update on the system. But if you want official updates, go to nhc.noaa.gov or type uh, NHC on Google and it'll probably take you to the number one result for there. Um, and it will give you the latest up-to-date information uh, on where the storm's at, what it's doing, what it's forecast to do, and what are the impacts going to be from the storm. You see all the graphics here. They have the key messages here, which I'll pull up here for a second. Um, I won't read the entire thing, so but you could pause it, um, pause the video, and look at it and see what the key messages are for the system at this point in time. But um, you can see there, and this is from the Nas National Hurricane Center. And um, and if you want uh, to look at a more detailed forecast, go to the NWS here. Go to www.weather.gov or type up NWS on Google, and it'll probably be the first result that you see on there. It'll, it'll take you straight to this map here uh, that shows the continental United States here. And you could go over and look at it and say you live in, I don't know, Texas here. So you go over and live in Texas. You can click on that, and it'll take you to your local uh, National Weather Service office there for your area, which is the uh, Houston Galveston area for this region, and I'll give you information on what your local forecast is. And you can see right here they have their uh, little graphic here for the storm. Um, you can look at that. There's the key messages again from their website, and then you can see all the rest of the stuff they have there. Um, and say you live over in Beaumont, Texas, you want to get a more accurate look at your forecast. I don't know if it's going to load this time. It looks like it is now. Last time it wouldn't load, but uh, this time it did. Um, you could get a extended outlook for your area, I think up to five or uh, seven days or so, um, for a more detailed look. So say like you live in, say you live in uh, a certain city name, you could type up your city name and get the accurate forecast for that area, or type up your zip code and get an even more accurate uh, forecast for a particular area. And you could also uh, pick whatever spot on a map here that you live in. Like, say you live in Humboldt, Texas, you could click on that, and it'll take you straight to the forecast for that area. And also, if you look at the three-day three day history, you could see how it has been uh, from the closest um, observation, um, observation center over there. Um, and then if you look at hourly weather forecast, it'll give you like an hour-by-hour by hour, uh, play by play of what the National Weather Service for your area uh, thinks will happen. You can see there, it gives you all the information, and it even gives you the keys at the top for um, so you could uh, make out what, what, what is what. But um, anyways, this is a little quick update on Tropical Storm Barry uh, from me. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to your National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service offices for the latest official information from them on this particular on this particular storm over the next coming hours here as it slowly makes its way towards a landfall again we're um the nhc is thinking landfall uh early early morning tomorrow um so to stay uh, stay tuned look at them uh for the latest information the timing could change it could increase decrease or stay the same um but just make sure you look at them for the latest information but that is all from me uh make sure you guys stay safe and uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.